Oh, wow. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. It is Entertainment Splash Baby, and it is now time for the entertainment news. Now, first off, we're telling you that Kanye Wood won't ban Miriam Booth over leaked nude video. The northern section of the Nigerian movie industry, also known as Kanye Wood, has come out to state that they will not ban one of its members, Miriam Booth, despite calls from different quarters for her ban over her leaked nude video. In an interview with Daily Trust, the chairman of Kanye Wood Guild of Artists, Al Hassan Kwale, stated that Miriam Booth won't be banned from the movie industry because the video was not released intentionally or for pornographic content, but as a tool of blackmail. Now he stated, and I'm quoting, Everyone knows that the video showing Miriam Booth was mischievously taken to blackmail her, not that she was doing a film of sort. She tried to take action about it immediately, but the guy that did it acted as if he had deleted the video, and for over three years, he has been using that to extort money from her under the threat that he would release the video until he eventually released it on Friday. Now, he concluded by adding, recently he called and said that he wanted to take his mother to the hospital and that she should give him money, but she refused. And this was why he decided to release the nude video. Twitter went wild about this. So many retweets, so many comments. And I think personally, I think she did the right thing by coming out to release a statement. I believe that um, if someone is blackmailing you, you take away their power. So now he has done his worst. And I actually watched the video. It was, it was three, seconds. three seconds. So it seemed as though three she seconds. was trying to get dressed. Yeah. And then he was trying to do it. And immediately, because she moved over to grab the phone. Grab the phone. And, and he, he, he probably lied and said, oh, I've deleted it. But you know how you delete stuff and it goes to trash. It doesn't it go off the phone. people who blackmail Why? other people. Why? It so doesn't make So now you've done sense. your worst. And I'm really happy that Kanye Wood is coming out to say, you know what? We are not going to ban her over a mistake. Because this happened and it wasn't intentional. She wasn't trying it's to shoot three years, a pornographic guys. video. It's been three years so i mean let the woman breathe i, I like what Kanye wood is doing right about now because people are calling for the ban you know those people don't joke with things like this mm -hmm. in the northern side of nigeria um, a similar situation happened to Rahman. Um, she just stared as a video vixen in classics video they did not even kiss of any sort mm -hmm. they were just near each other and they banned her one time Wow. So people were, yeah, people were saying this is a worse situation, why not ban her? Mm -hmm. And they had to come out to say this is not from her. And yes. um, the guy in question, because she's saying it's her ex, mm -hmm. the guy in question has also released a statement saying, saying that he, it's, not it's, not, it's not the one that released those pictures online. True. And yeah, Who I just... Did? Uh, we who's never been, who's been blackmailing her with the yeah. videos? Who's been asking for money yeah. if he didn't do well, it? He actually released that statement saying that he doesn't know who did it, but he's not the one and he wants to um, dissociate himself mm, from please. allegations. To be fair, he has every right to come out and make his statement. His claim, I'm yeah. happy that she as well has also come out to make her statement. And she said, keep me in your prayers. This is a very trying time for me. I mean, it's very embarrassing. And um, as usual, Nigerians love to bash people. So there have been a lot of hateful comments. Yes. Yeah. We're so disappointed in you. You have this Grace that religion, you have disgraced us as, as, as people as yeah. a, from the same tribe. And I just think that we need to change that narrative because um, when these kind of things happen, why is it that it's the woman who gets the blame? blame. I, I would actually blame for, the guy. Yes. Why would you want to do certain, like, you get, I'm getting dressed, I'm comfortable with you because we're in a relationship, so I'm getting dressed in your presence and you're doing that kind of video. It's, I like, it's like I, don't I do like, it. I like the clip in a way that it's not obvious she was pleased with what was happening yes. there. Yes. In the clip, she just went straight. Like, to the phone, like, what were you doing? I like that. I like that about and for that three case, years. Yeah. If that is really true, she has been I paying money on. for three years. It's fine. They need to arrest that person. Absolutely. Yes, actually, crazy situation. Anyways, oh, moving away from well. that story. <laughs> moving on to the next story in the foreign scene. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's daughter signs up to be a wrestler. Now, following in, you know, following the footsteps of her father, her great grandfather, and her grandfather, Dwayne the Rock, and her father, obviously, Simone Johnson has signed up with the WWE to become a wrestler. Now, the World Wrestling Entertainment, that's the WWE Network, made the announcement that. Simone, who is 18 years old, has signed with them and will begin training at the WWE Performance Center in Orlando. Now, she responded to the news on her Instagram, writing to the little girl who fell in love with wrestling and said, this will be my life one day. This is for you. I'm humbled, grateful, and ready to work. Let's do this. She continued by saying, it means the world to me to know that my family has a personal connection with, re with wrestling and it's really special to me. I feel grateful to have the opportunity not only to wrestle, but to carry on that legacy. Just so you know, her father, The Rock, who was the first third generation superstar of WWE history, Simone's great grandfather, High Chief Peter Maivia, started the legacy, which was continued by his son, 
Rocky, that soul man Johnson, and then the grandson, The Rock. Ooh. Amazing. This is, you know, the, the, the nice thing herself? about the story is the grandfather, mm -hmm. the father, the great and grandfather. The great grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. But she's a girl. Yeah. So that like, is the reason why oh, I'm no. super excited. You know, I think what? when he had girl, um, um, female so children, brave, he must guy. have been like, ah. Oh. But then they're coming, just like with the whole Kobe thing as well, yeah, and they're yeah. coming to change the narrative. Yeah. And I'm excited that she's also wrestling. Honestly. And it's, it's coming at a very interesting time because um, The Rock just lost his father, mm -hmm. Rocky, mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. And he left this emotional speech on Instagram sure, sure. where he was talking about, you trained me to become mm -hmm. who I am. You were my mentor. You were my, you were my hero. And I know everything because of you. And just to see that his daughter is following that, that same footstep step. Yeah. is so beautiful. It's I'm so just beautiful. wondering what she will call herself. Yeah. Because, because everybody, at, her father has used the rock. Yeah, um, so Rocky, the rock's father so used her, her Rocky. Her grandfather used Rocky, then yeah. her great grandfather used Malvia. I think that she can bring that name back. She'll do rock. Malvia rock, or something. Rock, she can rock. just do I, my girl, so rock. Because that sounds well, more feminine. Rock, yeah. rock is yeah. too strong for yeah. a guy. <laughs> No, but it's man. super exciting. I'm excited for her as well. Yeah. Like, I'm just Another celebrity right now. I mean, I love wrestling. I, like, I, guess, I guess from wrestling now, she will follow the path of her father. Her father get into an movies yeah. too. Yeah, as well. Oh, cash out. Anyway. Oh, uh. They have such a beautiful family, yeah. honestly, honestly speaking. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to her from East Flash. <laughs> <laughs> They're done, they thumbs up. Anyway, wow. wrap, wrapping up the story, yes, we'll talk about this one. Justice Smollett faces six new charges over alleged rocks attack. Yes, American actor and singer Justice Smollett's troubles with the law are not over yet, as he has been indicted by a special prosecutor in Illinois on six counts of lying to police. According to a statement by special prosecutor Dan Webb, he said, and I quote, Smollett planned and participated in a staged hate crime attack and thereafter made numerous false statements to Chicago Police Department officers on multiple occasions reporting an heinous hate crime that he, in fact, knew had not occurred. Justice Smollett's face is due to back in court on the 24th of February, and the city has also sued the actor in a civil suit, which Smollett also fined a cancer suit. A cancer suit. In case you don't know, last year Justice Smollett claimed that two men, both white and wearing ski masks, beat him up, put his hand in the nose, put his head in the nose, and scream, this is MAGA country. Justice Smollett is popularly known for playing Jamal Lyon in the hit TV show, Empire. This, so this is not done yet, and it's so crazy since last year. Is it sad or is it embarrassing? Yeah. Like, I mean, can it just come out and say, I lied? Just, just drop a single. Living people. <sighs> you know why I said this is sad? Because, <laughs> I mean, he didn't think this was going to come out this way. What? You had a good career going for you. Like, we really, most of us didn't really know it was just a small light until Empire. 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 Yes. And, you know, Empire has been running for what for like a couple of years now and we love his character like mm -hmm. he had so Jamal many fans Lee. I used to be a really huge fan but yeah. this is just like why did you have to do it like is, you wanted is to do it or I don't know yeah, he still it's has counters which is why yeah. I said perhaps you should come out and just say the truth because in the bid to cover his shame and his embarrassment going he keeps having counter suites and he's making the police upset yeah. Yeah. because you don't come out and lie to the police and then defend yourself legally you're looking for more trouble everything that he said all his stories had loopholes <sighs> first of all they are wearing white ski marks their face was painted white then they find out they were black guys what <laughs> happened were they using dusting powder what like come out and just i don't know who his lawyers are but they need to just settle out of court i think that that would be a better option for him him than to keep, you know, because the, the police, they, they will drag you He's to the He's lost his character on the, yeah. the, way, the way, which is why he his character. The way they killed his character, they just said, Jamal has traveled. <laughs> he has gone to London. It's not coming back soon. Honestly They've just speaking. killed that character. And it's crazy mm -hmm. because the special prosecutor, they are saying that they've spent money investigating the case. So right now they want their money back because this guy is lying. Yes. And every blessed time, new charges just the keep coming up. The truth will set you six, free. Six new oh. charges. But he's still claiming he's innocent. So okay. we never can tell. Yeah, we'll you never, never can tell. tell. I've seen when they see us now. You never yeah. can tell. Well, that's never true. Tell. That's so. true. But if he's if he he's, if he is lying, he should just come out and say the truth. Because most times people don't really want you to it's um not, it's not to say much. the truth. They always want you to defend yourself yeah, so. and make yourself look credible, even when you're obviously saying a lie. So yeah. the time frame mm. is long now since last year. True. For him to now come out and say, "Hey, I don't uh, mess up." <sighs> that's why I said it's sad. It's actually more sad, sad for me than embarrassing because. Mm -hmm. You had such a good life going. Like, you had everything. Man, okay, well, that's Do all we can say. lie. That's all I have to tell you out there, you know, if, if it is a lie. Anyways, that's it on Entertainment News.